Harmful Algal Bloom What are algae and algal blooms? Algae are simple aquatic plants that range from microscopic, single-celled protists to colonial filamentous microalgae to large seaweeds. Forming the base of food webs, they are vitally important to marine and freshwater ecosystems. However, their roles become much more threatening when they proliferate rapidly or bloom. Phytoplankton blooms, microalgal blooms, or red tides, are terms used for this naturally occurring phenomena. The scientific community refers to these events as harmful algal blooms, or HABs. Highly dense algal blooms can form streaks or slimy scums, foams, or grow in clumps and form thick mats that float and appear as discolored surface waters, ranging from white, green, yellow, red, or brown hues. At night, some algal blooms can also be seen as blue photophorescent glows that's produced when bioluminescent algae are disturbed. Why are they harmful? Although many different species of algae can form blooms, not all algal blooms are harmful and not all require dense bloom concentrations to cause adverse impacts. A broad classification identifies two HAB groups. The first group are the toxin producers, which produce highly potent toxins or toxic aerosols that can sicken or kill animals and humans directly exposed or through ingestion of organisms contaminated with the toxins. The second group are a high biomass producers, which are non-toxic. After reaching dense concentrations, it can create dead zones which can block the sunlight, inflict physical injury, or lower the level of oxygen in the water, leading to mass mortalities of various wildlife. And some HABs have characteristics of both groups. Also, HABs can change an ecosystem dramatically by dominating and outcompeting the natural phytoplankton population and altering the food web dynamics as a result. HABs can also have severe economic and cultural implications, resulting from substantial losses, especially for the fishery sectors and coastal communities that are dependent on seafood harvesting and tourism. What causes algal blooms? Algal blooms occur when there is a combination of environmental conditions that are favorable to sustain the growth and survival of algae. As such, their occurrence is relatively short-lived, lasting only for weeks to a few months in a particular area and difficult to predict. One major requirement is the overabundance of nutrients, nitrogen and phosphorus in water. Nutrient replete waters may come from rainfall, upwelling areas, urban runoffs, and wastewater outflows. When nutrients increase, the right combination of water temperature, sunlight, salinity, and water circulation and movement can trigger an algal bloom. In addition, freshwater HABs are influenced by turbidity, whereas marine HABs are enhanced by tidal currents and climate-driven wind patterns. Life Cycle of an Algal Cell We will be taking a quick look on the life cycle of Alexandrium algal cell. 1. The cyst of Alexandrium buried in sediment could stay dormant for years. Once the conditions are right and oxygen level is present, it may germinate. 2. Germination of the cyst may depend on warmer temperature and increased light conditions. Once the cyst hatches, a swimming cell emerges and reproduces by simple diffusion. 3. Cells will reproduce exponentially once the environment has abundant nutrients and optimal conditions. Within weeks, a single cell can divide into several hundred cells. If there are a lot of cells, or bloom, the shellfish can be contaminated, 
and once ingested by humans and other animals, it can cause poisoning. 4. Gametes are formed once nutrients are depleted and the cells stop growing. Cis is formed when two gametes join to form one cell which develops into a zygote. The dormant cyst will settle in the ocean bottom for germination. Where do they occur? Historically, HABs are not new phenomena. HABs have been occurring long before human activities began to transform coastal ecosystems. HAB species have been found in fossil records and their occurrence has been documented in stories dating back to biblical times. HABs can occur in marine, estuarine, and freshwater environments. Several decades ago, relatively few countries seem to be affected by HABs. But over the last 40 years, there has been increasing evidence to indicate the spreading and worsening of HABs incidences on a global scale. They are occurring more frequently over larger areas at prolonged periods. The following survey maps demonstrate the worldwide prevalence of HABs, showing the HAB-affected regions and incidences of fish kills or human poisonings associated with these bloom events. 1. The changing climatic conditions. 2. Eutrophication or nutrient pollution due to enhanced anthropogenic activities from farming, aquaculture, and urbanization. 3. The transport of HAB species to new environments through ship ballast waters and more recently. 4. The practice of overfishing have all been implicated as possible reasons for HAB occurrences. Heightened awareness, more frequent monitoring, and reporting of HABs and poisoning events may also have likely played a role to this observed increase. What to do in case of an algal bloom in your area? When you notice a bloom in your area, report the blooms and bad odors to local officials if you haven't noticed any posted advisories. Keep pets and children away from the algae. Rinse off with clean water if touched by algae. Also, avoid consumption of contaminated seafood.